Hi Sagittarius. Welcome to your October reading. October 2000. I can't believe that we're in like the last third of 2019. It's very strange to think about. So we're just going to do this like super, super intuitive today. Um, not really talk so much about what's going on in the skies because I feel like it's been all talked out. It's like we know that Jupiter is still there. We know that it Jupiter has been doing its thing and will be hopefully bringing <laughs> you've got some bliss. I know. And see, here's the thing is <clears throat> I feel like the decisions that you're making right now are exactly what you're supposed to be doing, but you're still like, you're still unsure. Right. And I totally understand where you're coming from. I'm a Sagittarius moon. If you guys don't remember. So I understand why um, you would be questioning the decisions you're making because it like the last couple of years have not been easy for Sagittarius energy. It just has not been easy. Right. Um, and so you're going to naturally second guess yourself. I don't, I, I don't want you to do that this time. Um, I feel like October is going to bring you some abundance that you, you're either not seeing coming or the decision that you're, you're making right now is going to bring, it's, it has to do with some kind of stability too. So we have the two of wands and we have the ace of pentacles. Um, Jupiter's been busy and, um, clearing things out of your life to make room for the abundance, you know? So, again, it's, it's natural to feel a little uneasy and not, sh yeah, and not sure what direction to go in because you because you look back on the decisions you made in the past, maybe kind of similar decisions, and you were like, that didn't turn out very well. Didn't turn out the way that I thought it was going to. So that's sort of what keeps you paralyzed in all of this. The Five of Cups and the Two of Cups. I'm going to get two more cards and then we'll kind of talk a little bit um, about this because I feel like it's time for you to start the things that have already happened in the past, like start putting them behind you. Um, you can't focus anymore on um, how things didn't turn out because when you want to manifest abundance into your life, you have to focus on feeling good. And if the past makes you feel miserable, if the past makes you feel miserable, or if the past makes you second guess yourself, or the past makes you feel like you're not doing the right thing now, or whatever, right? The past happens. And for you to compare your life and what's going on right now, to you're a different person today than you were a year ago, than you were two years ago. You're a different person today than you were six months ago. And in order for you to see this abundance, and yes, it is stability, and it, I feel like it's stability in maybe not just romantic relationships, but all relationships. It's more stability in all relationships. And it's sort of, and it could be with um, either an earth sign or, um, oh wow, I did not put my phone on do not disturb. Sorry about that. Distraction. It could either be with an earth sign or it's like with somebody that um, isn't able to give you everything that you need right now. But, but it, 
how do I put this? But see, here's the thing, Sagittarius. Um, it's very interesting when we get the Page of Pentacles because sometimes this is an earth sign that's not doing very well, that feels very diminished, that um, is still sort of learning. Sometimes it's a fuck boy, fuck girl, whatever, right? Um, sometimes it's, uh, so it's a student who's learning new things, so this could very well be you learning something new. We're going to clarify the cards, but um, the biggest thing is, is the moving forward. Now, if this is an earth sign in your life, they are feeling a little bit diminished about who they are. And they're this they it's almost as if they can't see the abundance in front of them. Or they can't see they it's like they have more to learn. They have so much more to learn, or they have lessons, right? Um, if this is you, then you can't see the abundance in front of you, and you're still learning. And it's not a it's not a bad thing if you're still in a phase of learning and needing to look in new directions and make different choices and do different things, but it's not okay to dwell on what, what doesn't exist or what isn't there or um, the, you know, the five of cups is like, he's, he's focusing on the wrong thing here, right? He's focusing, focusing on the sadness of what he's lost and not recognizing that he still has abundance. All he has to do is turn around. You see what I'm saying? And the four of wands with the Two of Cups. I sort of feel like this is something that you, because if you, if you notice, the Two Cups is what he has behind him, right? And the Two of Cups is right here. So why are you focusing on the past when clearly those Two Cups are there? And again, the Two of Cups is a soulmate card. It could be romantic. It could just be friendship. It could be family, whatever, right? But let's not focus on what we think we've lost. Let's turn turn around and, and see what's what we still have and feel really good about that. Oh, okay. Feel really good about that. Okay. So here's the thing. Ten of Swords on the Two of Wands. When you're making the decisions, going to the worst possible case scenario when you're trying to make a decision is not going to help manifest something positive into your life. You have to feel good, like not just during the good times, but even, even help yourself to focus and feel good when things are negative too. Like, for example... I was really having a very rough couple of days. And, um, you know, you guys are genuinely optimistic people, so you can understand when I say um, I am actually a genuinely very upbeat, optimistic person. And so when I have bad days or when I have to cry or when I have to whatever, it's few and far between. But when it happens, it's like a flood. A floodgate opens, it's very hard to close the doors, it's just everything, right? Um, but I chose today to flip that energy around by doing something that makes me feel good. And for me, that was like going on my two-mile walk that I do every day, or I try to do every day as much as I, as much as I can. I've been pretty good about doing it every day. Um, but here's the thing is... I, I flipped that around and I was like, you know what? I'm going to choose happy. I'm going to choose feeling good over the negative. And when I walk, my like, you know how some people will take a shower and their mind wanders and they like do their best thinking while they're in the shower. That happens to me when I'm walking. 
And especially when I'm outside walking and I'm not stuck inside on a treadmill, when I'm outside in nature and I'm walking, um, I can, uh, I, I, my mind wanders and I do some of my best intuitive thinking when I'm walking and stuff like that. So, um, I chose to do that. And that's what I, when you get into this position of needing to make a decision, I know that was a really long winded talk that I, you know, like a story that I just told you, but I had to get my point across. Like you can choose to not be in the 10 of swords. Because right now it's just a thought process, right? When you're trying to make a decision, if you automatically think of all the things that could go wrong with it, of course it's not going to turn out okay. If you're putting negative energy onto that decision, of course it's not going to turn out okay. So let's look at the Ace of Pentacles. Ooh, so many. And see, here's the thing. Even if uh, you make a decision and it doesn't turn out the way that you wanted it to turn out, Look at all the other things you can choose because you're still going to find abundance there. You don't have to just opt out of whatever, right? And the, you know, the choosing again or, or um, you know, allowing yourself to, to, to choose differently that's something that I'll be teaching during my self-alignment course that I'm giving on October 5th. If you're interested on how to learn, how to manifest and, and come into alignment with yourself and, and choose to feel good every single day, um, I'm going to be teaching you how to do that. And now might be a really good time for you to do that before Jupiter moves out of your sign, right? Um, the information is in the description box or you can go to my website. Um, five of cups, you know, and it's interesting, Sag, because the five of cups is all in your mind. And I feel like the avoidance of certain, it's like, you know, that you're dwelling on something. Some of it has to do with your work. You're like, I don't want to be there anymore. And I get it. I understand that. I've been in jobs like that before. But sometimes we have to have jobs at Eight of Pentacles, right? Sometimes we have to have jobs just to survive or just to be in, you know, you know, like we, we go through phases in life. And it doesn't mean that you're going to be there forever. It's a temporary thing. Temporary meaning however long it takes you to learn what you're supposed to learn in this moment and then move on, right? But dwelling on the negative aspects of it and, and dwelling on the things that you don't have is going to keep you in that resistant mode, right? It's going to keep you in that resistant mode. Now, for some of you, it's like you're working towards a promotion and it's not, it's not coming into fruition. And that's because you have to look in a completely different direction. You don't just need a promotion, you need a whole new job. Or you don't need a whole new job, you just need to ask for a promotion. It's it's one one or two of the the things, right? It doesn't it's not it's not like not that's not for everybody. Um some of this is that you guys are burying yourself in work so you don't have to think about how sad you are. You know? Um, and I get that, but the more you ignore or the more you escape the sadness, the harder it's going to be to overcome and it'll just keep coming back over and over and over again. And, and that is, I don't feel like that's something that you want to put yourself through. Now, um, it could have to do with a relationship, a current one, or a past relationship. This Two of Cups could be that, like, why are you dwelling on the past when you have a perfectly good future in front of you? Or, you know what I mean? Oh. Some of you want the love and you're not getting it. Some of you lost a love. Five of Pentacles. 
on the two of cups some of you are just sitting in a mentality that you are lacking in the relationship department but again with that five of pentacles and the five of cups focusing on what you don't have is giving you more of what you don't have if you want to be in a relationship Sorry, I thought I saw something back there. It's not anything, but that's really weird because I totally thought I saw something back there. Um, but my roses look beautiful. <laughs> I'm so distracted. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, I got so distracted. Um, the Five of Pentacles on the Two of Cups is um, if you focus on what you don't have, you're just going to get more of what you don't have. So when you're in this kind of state of mind, which is something else we're going, I'm going to be teaching in the self-alignment course, when you're in a five of pentacles state of mind, when it comes to relationships or love or having people around you or having the right people around you, um, you have to really start loving yourself. You have to really start focusing on being in love with yourself. You want to become what you want to attract. So however you feel about yourself right now, that's what you're attracting into your life. If you think you're a chaotic mess, you're going to attract another chaotic mess. If you think that you are just a sad, miserable state of a person, that's what you're going to attract in your life. Somebody who needs healing, somebody who's sad, somebody who's miserable. But if you really love yourself, and you really find out what that truly means because when when people when I say that and then people are like well I don't know how to love myself then you don't know how to love anybody else and you don't know how to accept love from anybody else you may think you do but that's why all the other relationships haven't worked so when you start accepting yourself for who you truly are and loving yourself through being a hot mess and loving yourself through being a fantastic person and loving yourself, you know, and doing things for yourself that you would want somebody else to do for you. Take yourself out to dinner, buy yourself flowers, etc., etc., etc. That's what you're going to attract into your life. And I feel like right now you kind of sort of think this is a pipe dream. It's never going to happen. And that's what this Ten of Swords up here is saying. You're going to the worst possible case scenario because you autom you already think, Sag, that it's not going to happen. The more you dwell on what you don't have in your life, and this, of course, isn't for everybody. Some of you may be in perfectly fine relationships, but you need to spend a little bit more time with each other because you're feeling like you're lacking in some way. Um, because some of you have big decisions about work to make, but you don't want to do them because you're like, oh my God, nothing's ever going to turn out, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Some of you have big decisions about relationships. Some of you have big decisions about your environment and how you feel about your environment with the four of wands here. So, let's see, Four of Wands, oof. See, and here's the thing, Sag. I just heard I'm holding up the fort on my own, or I feel like I'm holding up the fort on my own. And when I say I just heard, like, Spirit literally just said that to me. Um, I heard the words, I'm holding up the fort on my own, when the Nine of Pentacles came out on the Four of Wands. And if that's the case, and you are single, and you are um, looking out into your future and trying to make decisions for yourself, but you keep on focusing what, on what you've lost... Holding up your life or, or making stability on your own 
is very admirable. Like it's, I mean, you're in, you're in an extremely independent sign. You're the, you're the, you're the sign that's the really fun adult. You know what I mean? But if you're not seeing yourself in a way where all of the things you've accomplished as a positive and you're only focusing on what you've lost and what you haven't accomplished. And I'm sure that um, some of this energy or some of this feeling has a lot to do with what you've lost, right? And feeling like everything is gone because of that. Let's see what this page of pentacles is. But um, it feels like there there is um, somebody around you, whether it's an earth sign or it's not an earth sign. Um, but I feel like there needs to be a conversation with this person. Because I feel like there is um, something that you need to, uh, um, I don't want to use closure, come to peace with, with this person. We have the Ace of Swords on the Page of Pentacles. Um, so I feel like there's a conversation that needs to be had. Maybe this is the conversation that you need, you know, you need to tell this person, stop making me feel like I'm being put out in the cold. Stop making me feel like this. Stop making, and, and here's the thing, like the whole stop making me feel like, because we also have the Four of Cups here, and the Magician, and the Five of Wands, and the Four of Pentacles. Okay. So, um, but but the, the stop making me feel like conversation, you know, um, before you go into it, I want you to realize how you're actually making yourself feel this way. And I don't mean that in um, a shitty, like, you better turn around and look at yourself in the mirror before you start, you know, not, not that, I don't mean it, I don't mean it like that. I mean it as in, um, why, are, why are you allowing somebody who clearly keeps putting you out and making you feel miserable and fighting? I mean, we have the five of wands too. Five of cups, five of wands, five of pentacles, ten of swords. Somebody in your life has triggered something in you to heal. And I feel like it has a lot to do with your stability. And I feel like it has a lot to do with how you feel about either being in a relationship or um, or lack thereof of a relationship, right? But, um, and then we even have the Page of Swords here. There is a conversation that needs to happen. And I feel like something can change if you, if you let it, right? But no one actually makes you feel any way. Somebody does something, whether it was probably a negative thing that they did, and it triggered you into feeling something, right? But then, after the fact, after they've done it, after they've triggered you, after you've had this emotion, you have a choice. Two of Wands. You have a choice to make. Do I turn my cheek and f give them another chance, which I have done a million times in my life. I've given people second and third chances. Do I turn my cheek and I give them another chance? Or do I put up some boundaries and I say, all right, you want to act like that? It's perfectly fine. You can act like that but I refuse to let that in my life. So if that's the person you wanna be, we're done. If you wanna grow up a little bit and act like an adult, and I guarantee you say something like that to them, it'll trigger them. Once you put boundaries up, it's going to irritate the people that feel like they've been pushed out. I'm just saying, it will. It'll irritate their demons because now they're triggered because you put up a boundary and they didn't like it. You see what I'm saying? So nobody can actually make you feel anything. They can trigger you into feeling something, but then you have the choice on what to do from there. You don't have to sit in that negative space. You can say, that's really cute. 
but I'm not going to allow it. You do you. I'm going to do me. Right? You see? Okay. These last four cards don't ignore. I feel like I feel like the universe is trying to show you things. I feel like the universe is literally putting like I, like on my walk today. Um, I started, I was listening to, um, Gabby Bernstein's new book, Super Attractor, and, um, she lit, there was, I don't even remember what it was, I don't remember what she said now, and so I need to go back, but there was, in the chapter that I was listening to on my walk, I literally, she said the exact words that I had said to somebody yesterday or something like that before I had even listened to her book, um, I had, I had said these words, and I thought, oh, my, and I think I actually had it in my, I think I saved it in my phone, like I, you know, voice recorded in my phone. Um, so I'll go back and, but it was very profound and I was just like, dang it, there's a sign. Giving that, that you're on the right track. I feel like the universe is giving you signs that you're doing the right thing, that you're on the right track, but I don't want you to miss them because you're in a, in a miserable state of um existence of not really knowing where to go next okay um i like jabbered on in your reading but it was a really great reading and um i really want you guys to take care of yourselves because i feel like if you ignore what you need to face right now it's just going to come back and you don't want to do that we're coming up to the end of the year and um, there are some amazing things that are coming up for you guys. So, and, and you know, we want to get ready for your birthday season. So I love you guys. Take really good care of yourselves. Um, check out the, uh, the self-alignment course that I'm giving. Um, and we do weekly meditations and Reiki healing circle. So I actually like send out Reiki energy to heal you during our weekly meditations Check that out. It's on my website. Very small fee to register for that. Um, I am doing, I am charging a fee for those because I just want positive energy in, okay? Um, so I love you guys. Have a wonderful month and I will see you later. Bye.